you are welcome to drive tv if you're new to this channel consider subscribing so you won't miss out any of our latest video So, dear brothers and sisters in the Yoruba diaspora worldwide, African Americans, Afro Canadians, Afro Caribbeans, Afro Britons, Afro Brazilians, Afro Cubans, all people of Yoruba descent in the African diaspora worldwide, I bring you greetings. This letter comes to you as an overdue apology from the several generations of the Yorubais that are dispersed around the world. This is not an ordinary letter. It is an epistle born out of deep revelation and shared by many children of God of Yoruba extraction all over the universe. Predating colonialism and slavery in Africa in the 18th and 19th centuries, the Yorubais had, like any other region in the world, engaged in some internal conflicts resulting in marauding, inter-tribal and international warfare and so on. But historians mostly, mostly agree concerning the Yoruba that such civil unrest among us did not result in the commercialization of human captives until the era of colonialism and slave trade on the African continent. Yet, we have to agree that the foreigners did not do all the evil. We ourselves, our forefathers, our kings and chiefs and all, and our enterprising people took part in collecting our people from the interior of our land and taking them to the sea for sale to the Euro Europeans, for transportation across. According to the regulation reference above, a segment of the captive Yoruba sons, this is very important, a segment of the captive Yoruba sons and daughters that were hauled into slavery, looked back and placed a curse on the land and the people that were violating their humanity by selling them into slavery. Furthermore, the Holy Spirit has revealed to us that some among the Yoruba captives committed suicide by jumping up the captive ships into the oceans of the Atlantic Ocean, while others simply placed the cross and endured the shame by continuing the captive journey. For this, the need for reconciliation and unreserved apologies is real and past due. Having said all that, we say it from the bottom of our hearts that we sincerely understand if you still uh, nurse the heart and feel the pain. 
After all, years may heal the wound, but the scar may always remain. All we can say is to appeal that you please forgive our forefather on whose behalf we, their descendants, are tendering these apologies today. We don't want to die here. We don't want our great, great, great children that is coming to die here and not be able to go back to where they come from. They have origin. They have origin. That's why we brought them to, 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 to fight together. We have origin. Don't worry. We are getting it. And you will take immediately, you buy your ticket, you go to Freedom Land. Bless you, bless you. Thank you. Yeah, we, we, we are here today talking in this, uh, you see, in this, this carnival, a big carnival. After we move, we are moving, the, we are moving down to Notting Hill Gate now, in the heart of carnival. We are going to continue to create awareness. We met some uh, children here, they said they are, they are in Nigeria. We asked them. Do you know the origin of this carnival? They don't know. They don't even know that this carnival it comes from them as a slave. You remember my friend I was talking with on video? I was telling him that the same kind of carnival we used to do in Asaba called Ezibo. The same thing is what is happening here. Don't give me the second one. Yeah. Let me put it on video and call him again. Okay. I was just telling him that the same kind of thing that we used to do back home is what is happening here. You know? Most of the things that they do here, they learn from us. Yes! You know? It's from us. Yeah. All this culture, we brought it here. We brought it here. Maybe when our, our parents have been taken as less, they don't forget their origin. They have to continue to practice you know, what is in their blood. And this is what we met today, carnival. So when they are talking about, talking about carnival, carnival, carnival is from Africa. It's black race carnival, freedom, freedom. And that is what we want in Nigeria now. We want freedom. We want Nigeria to be divided. We are no more, the 1914 amalgamation is a fraud. It's a fraud, they miss, how can you miss people with not the same language? Right. Everything. Everything completely different and you're telling me that Okay, my dear brother, you hear me, I can speak to you. You are listening to me, you hear what I'm saying. If I take English out of what I'm saying, okay, in Timon Sonsi, Timon Bam, Timba Sobe, Timba Bessi, Ere Timon Sonsi. In the Shogba, Shogba. I'm not sure if you know who. You hear now. Can you see how they buy them? What I said now is that I can't understand what you're saying. You can't understand me, and I, I can't understand you. But it is English that makes us understand, and English is a foreign language. And then are calling our own language, Fanakola. How can our own language be a foreign language? You see where the problem comes in. We have to identify ourselves. You are Igbo, I am Yoruba, you are Biafra, I am uh, Odudua. So shall it be. Yes, yes, peace. Peace, Shalom. my brother. Shalom. 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 God bless you, my sister. Enjoy your carnival. Enjoy your carnival. Yes, your Rubai Nation awareness here. Yeah. Thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing so you won't miss out any of our latest video. My name is Akian Abi. I'm a video director and TV producer of Akomolowe on African Magic. Keep watching Drive TV. Hello, Lufe. Drive TV. At Mugwe Yiti Femi Sola. MRO Drive TV. Keep watching Drive TV. My name is Woli Yadba. Take this time out to tell you all that you should keep watching Drive TV. What drive there was no go? What drive there was fulfillment? What drive there was to battle? Oh, Nishiri. Even the Gomao Drive TV. Thank you, Chloe. Drive TV. Driving you around the world.